to think about, that we've never had to think about before. Um, but actually, everyone really got on board and, and all of the young people that are involved in it really adapted to everything that they had to do and made sure that they were social distanced and, um, and really just kept their energy up, um, which was really, really helpful for us as a production team, I think. So during lockdown, obviously we had to move online as we couldn't meet face to face anymore. So we use Zoom and everyone has seen endless amounts of Zoom during this lockdown, but it works really well for like the choreography. And um, so we taught all of the choreography on Zoom. And yeah, like Hayley said, it was just, everyone got on board, everyone learned the routines and it was just, it was a nice way to keep in touch every week as well and just check in on everyone. It's going to be really good. It's yeah. been really nice to be uh, back in the theatre again and seeing, because it was difficult to know, obviously with on Zoom, how well everything was going to come together. Um, and during these tech rehearsals where we finally get to be on that stage in the theatre, it's just really built the momentum and it's all come together so well. Um, so we're just really excited for everyone to see what these young people have created. <laughs> Like coming home it's just like coming home I've been here since I was like four and that is too many years to talk about now um, but it's just yeah it was just so nice when those theatre doors opened and everyone came in and you could just see the smiles on people's faces just to be back where we all love being and just getting on that stage getting it staged and of course adhering to all social distancing and everything making sure that we're completely COVID secure but it was just and everything's so festive, there's so many fairy lights and Christmas lights and Christmas trees and everything and it's just Christmas so exciting. Christmas trees? Trees. Trees. Christmas trees. Christmas trees. Christmas trees. Christmas trees. <laughs> really well. Great. Right. Really, 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 well. really good. Yeah, like we said, it was just nice to, everything that the, the cast had then learnt on Zoom, it's just been amazing to then see it come to life on stage and then go, oh, I see, and, and everything just fall into place like Hayley said and they're going really really well we actually managed to rehearse the entire show today and everything is looking so slick and polished considering it's been quite a disjointed rehearsal process which we're not normally used to yeah. it's just yeah And then I teach them to the kids and then the older ones, and then I'll do the dances. And then I help out the vocal coach, so when the kids are rehearsing, I'm there just to lend a hand. It's just the best feeling. You know, the wine is just such a big part of my heart and everyone else's heart. And being away from it for so long, it's just, it was really hard. So to be back yeah. and to be putting on a show, it's just... Stage manager for Christmas Cracker. Yeah, so stage managing, it's making sure the, the show runs smoothly, making sure the sounding and lighting all uh, all runs runs together, um, the, the set changes, making sure the, the guest artists get on stage and off stage, um, starting the show on time. <laughs> really good to be back seeing everybody all the community coming back together the kids rehearsing and um, yeah really good Um, it's been a bit 
different this year, but the, the bonus of it is that we've had more time to do it because of, we've not had all the shows in the, that we normally have, so we've had a bit of time, but because we've moved Cracker later um, and the, um, the other Christmas shows, it means we've had to get everything ready earlier. Oh, it's fantastic to be back in the YMCA theatre after being shut for so long. Um, we reopened in October with the COVID safe show um, to try it out and then um, we had to shut again of course because of the lockdown. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster really but um, it's just fantastic having all the young people back in the building and uh, not so young people as well. Um, it's COVID safe, we've got, we've been through, uh, we did a pilot show as I said earlier back in October um, and um, we tested everything out then with an invited audience. We've got barriers everywhere, hand sanitizer stations, um, we've got uh, ventilation up and running which brings in fresh air into the building. Um, the rehearsal has been COVID secure by having them online um, throughout, we started in September when we could come back into the building um, when we did them first to first then. Um, but the um, under 18s were in one group and the old, over 18s were in a different bubble of people. Um, and we've done all the rest online since the second lockdown. Um, from an audience point of view, they will, um, the audience will come in through the front doors um, and then they'll be guided by our staff. Um, everyone has to wear face masks at all times unless um, they're eating or drinking. Um, we're also we've got then we are offering a bar service we're allowed to do that now um, so we do in seat service or people can go to the bar and take the drinks back to the seats.